It's finally time for a tow truck update. Finally. It's been a year and a half, I think, since an update of any significance. Um, well, actually, technically, nothing's really changed since then. But I'll explain that in just a second. And I'm also revealing my other, not one, but two future projects that I'll be working on when I'm not working on this. And I'll explain that in just a sec. But I will show you what they are. Like I say, not one, but two 55 Chevy Bel Air two-door hardtops. Um, this is all I'm going to show them for now. Um, they are really cool. They got some really unique features. But uh, again, uh, well, this comes first. Um, well, basically, long story short, once I get done with the next step on this, which is finishing up the framework and a few other little things, and this gets sent out for blasting and painting, then I'll be working on the white one. How about that? that, that that'll be the gist of it. Um, uh, so anyways, back to this. Uh, basically, what's going to be happening here, uh, I think I explained it in the last update, which was like a year and a half ago. Um, uh, basically, I've gotten caught up on a lot of things, kind of, and I can now work on this again. Uh, back to the 50s is this weekend, so once, uh, once, um, uh, that's over, and I'm back home and got everything put back away, because I think I'm gonna take some stuff up for the swap meet, uh, it'll be working on this. And like I explained in the last video, uh, cab's gonna be coming off, front clip cab coming off, rolling out the frame, you know, get it all blocked up. Get this cut off, get the one I got out here, trimmed up, lined up with the other half the frame, this front half, welded together, yada, yada, yada. Uh, then shock absorber mounts, brake line mounts, uh, modifying the end of the frame real quick, uh, finished up the training cross member, uh, making uh, the mount for the handbrake, uh, maybe a couple other little things that, oh, the uh, mounts for the exhaust stacks, and then getting the bumper here and modifying it so it works better and won't break apart and whatnot. Anyways, and like I say, maybe a couple other little minor things, but, and then basically, yeah, once, yeah, once that's all done, then everything gets sent out and get blasted, or just about, and then on here, I got a few modifications yet I got to make on the wrecker unit. Um, you know, I got to cut out the holes for the stacks eventually. Uh, I want to make side toolboxes. And then I got to, I want to pick, I want to get some unique uh, taillights for this. And I have to recess them into the, the, the back panel there. Oh, and uh, let's see, um, get that so that can be mounted the sling, and then eventually, I don't have to really do much for the boom, I don't think, at, the t at this time, I could always do it later, I think, yeah, it should be just drill a hole, get it centered right where I want it, drill holes to the floor, bolt it down, and that should be the end, well, whatever, that'll be, I think, future Jared's problem, um, anyways, uh, I guess the one thing I do want to show you that I guess would be technically an update, is this uh well first i was going to say uh i was originally going to reuse that seat there and well i bought a, a old buick last year with that was missing the original front seat but it had these two very glorious vintage bucket seats in it i'm not sure what they're from they got like a late 50s pattern i think that is or at least well, maybe late i don't know looks like a 50s pattern but they are in really nice shape, all thing, uh, things considering. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to run with these instead of the original bench. Uh, the only thing is I had to figure out how I was going to mount them. And after about, oh, 10 seconds of thinking, I thought, what about the original seat frame? Because on these, the seat frame is one big unit, but it's not part of the, uh, them are separate. They, they unbolt and unscrew right from this. And then the seat tracks are mounted to it. 
I sent them up there, and they almost sit in there perfect, um, all things considering. Um, the only thing is, I gotta, I'll, I'm gotta. i going to have to cut this back bar off that goes around because it prevents the seat from leaning all the way back. Um, yeah, and then I just got to create a mount for them to screw to. But, uh, yeah, so I guess that's the one little update is that that's going to look awesome. Hopefully it'll work out awesome too. So, I guess uh probably making this video already longer than it needs to be. But basically, yeah, once uh, Back to the 50s is over, uh, like I say, get this outside, cabin front clip off, and start cutting and welding. So, and then like I say, once uh, once I get the framework all done and I get it sent out and blasting, or if there's something I can't do for the time being, I'll eventually start on this. Um, my goal is to have that, I'd like to have it at Corn Fest, but I doubt I'll have that. Mississippi Mayhem for sure. So, and actually same thing for this, actually to be honest, at least attempt to. So, anyways, uh, that's it. Look forward to uh, getting this done, eventually, hopefully. Anyways, talk to you guys later.